What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Loot Chest on Taste of Loot Gaming. In case you don't know, Loot Chest is a show where we talk about a random topic in gaming. My name's Seth. I'm Chris. And I'm Frank. I'm Brandon. And uh, today we're going to be talking about games that deserved a sequel. Uh, not to be uh, as narrow as to say a game that, that uh, only exists by itself and needed a sequel on its own, but any game in a series that never got a sequel and does not have one in production. Um... So yeah, let's get started. Uh, Frank, what is a game that you would love to see a sequel to? Mario RPG. That right. is a game I would love to see. And Mario RPG came out Super Nintendo? Mm -hmm. Yes. And never had a sequel. I know there's games that were like spiritual successors to it, but but were not official sequels. Yes. Um, what did you like about uh, Mario RPG and what? why would you want a sequel? Well, with the recent collaboration between N Nintendo and Square Enix making all these different games like Kingdom Hearts, I thought, you know, Mario RPG was a great start, you know, and they they collaborated with Nintendo to make basically a Final Fantasy game set in the Mario world. And I would I'd really like to see a continuation of, you know, a growth on that to, to further progress the story even though it's always Mario versus Bowser um, but you know with more characters better graphics you know more enemies um, admittedly I've never I, I played it but I never beat it uh, is would you like to see the story continued or certain aspects of the game carry over of course in a sequel but and, and honestly, I, I wouldn't care less if they continued necessarily the story itself, but to, to make a sequel, to make something to show progression, you know, mm. to to relive that experience even. Definitely. Um, that, of course, would come out on uh, Wii U or the NX. Sure. Because they can't release that on other things. Um, no, that'd be cool. I, I think people would really be excited about that, too, because I think that's a game that that has that you know, quiet but very strong uh, uh, fan base, definitely. I've heard so many people talk about the game positively. I've never heard anything negative about that game. So that's 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 a good pick. Any any thoughts on that? I love that game. It was so much fun. It would be yeah. great to have another one. I never played it. Yeah. <laughs> I barely played it. But, <laughs> but it was neat. It was neat. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. Josh was actually talking to me about that uh, the other day. Um, all right. Good pick. Uh, Brandon. Um one that I wanted to see that never got it was Advent Rising. Okay. Uh, it was originally supposed to be a three-part game. The the game... I remember hearing that, yeah, yeah. It, it flopped. And it, it was bad. Uh, it, <laughs> it flopped real bad. I want to see a sequel. The, the, the game itself, I thought the game itself was amazing. I mean, the, so, the entire so story... Advent Ri Rising, for me, I, I, I remember it coming out, but I don't remember really what it was. So mm -hmm. explain to people uh, what the game was. For people who might have not played it, because some so people didn't play it. It's set pretty distant future, mm -hmm. 500 years, I believe. I think mm -hmm. it was like 20, 2556, mm -hmm. somewhere along those lines. Future. And you are on a ship that gets attacked mm -hmm. by a race of aliens that populate the planet that you're orbiting. And there's a lot of different clans of this said race fighting each other. Pretty much alien civil war. Okay. And you you leave the the craft and you're left with all the feels because your brother dies. You know, he he do have a brother, so he sacrifices himself to get you onto an escape pod with your pregnant wife. I um, believe. What what kind of game was it? It was uh was it an RPG. It was a third person RPG. Third person RPG. And you liked it? I loved it. Um what were some of the key features of it? It it felt like I mean, I played it at such a young age that I couldn't fully appreciate mm. All oh, aspects of it. Of games got revisit because of that. Um, but you you felt a, at least I did a lot of character development within it, you know, and the whole idea that you know you're gonna grow with another race to help you know one side or the other win the war. Yeah. You're 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 linear. You're fixed on which race you're helping, but they kind of seem like gods to mm -hmm. to the human race in essence. You know, they they give you powers and things that you can do to help them fight the the other enemy. So not only would you want a sequel, would you like them to actually do what they said they're going to do and, and release that three-part mm. trilogy? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I feel like it would be left um, 
up in the air if a second game was to be made without the third one. I don't think they'd be able to wrap up a story in a second one. The story was written by Orson Scott Card. The entire oh wow okay. the entire Advent Rising trilogy was written by him. That's cool. Um, yeah, I, n- I never played that. I almost want to go back and try that. Maybe we'll do a, just a tip on that at some point. Um, no, it's a good pick. Uh, Chris? I would love to see another Mana game. Like, there's the oh, Secrets dude. of Mana and the dude. Legends of Mana. There's Fucking actually one a. that was apparently released in Japan, never released in America. Of course. But, yeah, of course. But I would love, 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 love to see another one of the Mana games. You have, uh, you have Secret of Mana mm-hmm. and what was the other one? Legends of Mana. Legends of Mana, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, one was for Super Nintendo, one was for PlayStation. Correct. Um, I played the Super Nintendo one, and that's that's the pivotal one. Yep. Um, but I played more of the PlayStation one, and yeah. I remember fucking loving that game. Even when I was younger and I wasn't really equipped to uh, appreciate games like that, that game for some reason resonated with me. Mm-hmm. And it always has been confusing to me why they have not made more. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, it's a Square Enix game. And it's loved. Yeah. Like, people fucking love those games. You guys are in trouble. Tap into that market, too. But... Don't fuck up Final Fantasy VII. Please. Just <laughs> focus on one thing at a time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking definitely. Yeah. Um, any no, thoughts? No episodic shit. <laughs> Secret of Legends of Mana 2, 3, <laughs> fucking episodic. <laughs> Episode 1, the Mana Seed. You get the first hour for free and then the rest of them. $30. I just like the, uh, the diverse gameplay of mm. that. I mean, yeah, you get a set character you play as, but like... The fact that you can switch weapons constantly and pretty much on the fly in that the game. The combat was cool, too. I like the way it's set up. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of set up... It's RPG, but it's also kind of like an action game at the I same time. I think that's time. why it resonated with me when I was younger. Because yeah. when I was younger, I couldn't appreciate the menu system and shit like that. Like, I loved right. Shining Force when I was younger. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Like, so when I played, like, those older games, like, or the older Mana games, um, the combat resonated because it felt more action It felt like I was more in control or mm-hmm. whatever. So, I completely agree. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I love the games. Uh, I own uh, Legends of Mana, and, and I, to this day, go back and keep playing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, as as ashamed as I am to say, I have never been into Square Enix. Anything. Anything. Really? I have. Not even Kingdom Hearts. A lot of people. I've never played play. it. Really? I've never played that. I've Maybe never played Final Fantasy. Fun. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy. You've never okay. Hold on, hold on. You've never played Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> let's bag this train on. Up. Let's 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 shrink it down a little bit. Have you never played Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. You never played it? No. You're gonna have to try that out <laughs> because Final Fantasy. There's a bunch of great Final Fantasy games. People mm. argue which is the best. Blah blah blah. But I think the best one you could try first is Seven. That's what I've heard because Seven is revolutionary. It changed a lot of shit in gaming. Um, as for Square Enix and just Square in general, don't hit me. Um, <laughs> uh, as, as for Square in general, um, Kingdom Hearts I think is a, is a good also intro because that game was designed for the Final Fantasy crowd, but also everybody mm. because of Disney. I mean, Disney's not going to sell anything <laughs> right. that's for a specific crowd. Um, so definitely, at some point, check those out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, good pick. Um, okay, so for my pick. I am picking Time Splitters. I'm a huge fan of Time Splitters. Uh, it was made by the guys who actually worked on uh, Goldeneye and uh, Alone in the or not Alone in the Dark, fucking uh, Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. That's the fucking that's the <laughs> name of the game. And uh, and they moved over and pl- made uh, Time Splitters, and I fucking love Time Splitters. Time Splitters Two was great. Time Splitters Three was fucking amazing, and it just died off. And I feel like those games were ahead of their time because they had so much content to unlock, new characters. New, just everything. There's so much stuff to unlock, and that was before the time of like your Call of Duties with a shitload of content. Um, I would love to see a new Time Splitters, Time Splitters Four. Um, there's been rumors of people wanting to make a new one. There's some fan based one they're making or fan made one they're making. Um, I think Crytek owns it now. I would love to see their engine because their engines are fucking gorgeous. I would love to see a Time Splitters made on the Crytek engine. Uh, that, that, that stays true to the originals, um, continues the storyline, which, you know, it would be easy. It's all time travel, so you can do whatever the fuck you want. And uh, and just keeps the core mechanics of unlockable content as you play, map uh, creation, editors, and, uh, and just fun 
not taking itself too serious uh, storylines. Um, did you guys play Time Splitters at all? No. Oh! The only- <laughs> oh! What the fuck? <laughs> the, the only reference. <gasps> right in the feelers. Oh, the shit. only reference I have to Time Splitters is Shaun of the Dead. And yeah, I remember watching Shaun of the Dead. I'm like, oh my god, they're playing Time Splitters! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, fuck. Three of us. <laughs> Jesus. Holy, yeah, I didn't think all three of you. Fuck, okay. <laughs> It's, it's little, not my genre. It's, it's a, a first person past, shooter style ah, game. It's so fun. You can play as a monkey. Um, <laughs> a monkey with a fucking gun. Like, that explains a lot. He's <laughs> run around as a gingerbread man with a fucking gun. There was zombie modes and shit. Like, there was so, so much so weird. Sh- oh my god, Time Stars was so good. So fucking good. And if they can make a new one and cater to new audiences, maybe pull you in. But play as Mickey? Some, maybe. You'd have know. to pay Disney a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh my God, that's that's. Oh, that hurts. Oh, uh, die, uh, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, Goofy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Time splitters. Time splitters for sure. I would love to see a sequel. It's something that needs to happen. Uh, there's there's people who have signed petitions for it. I'm I I, I'm so for it, and I wish you guys were too. Uh, <laughs> all right. So for my second pick, um, I'm gonna pick. Bionic Commando. Okay, so not the original Bionic Commando, <coughs> not the Bionic Commando remade, or whatever the hell it's called, but the 2008 remake that was third person. You ran around, you shot shit, and you could swing around. Um, did any of you play that before I get too far into this? Because time splitters. <laughs> <laughs> no, but from what I understand, it's kind of like that game prototype. Sounds, um, well, that's what that's what I was getting off of. That sounds like Batman. Final Commando um, had a lot of really cool ideas. They took a lot of the ideas, obviously, from the original, which was a 2D perspective uh, platformer that you could swing around. And in this one, you could uh, use your pretty much a grappling hook. You had a like a cybernetic arm that had a, a thing that you could like launch a shit and swing. Mm-hmm. It had really cool mechanics of like swinging while shooting at people and shit. And the game storyline was was okay, and the character design was kind of why waifu why exactly exactly um he had dreadlocks and shit too and he had like a fucking sweet like marvel versus capcom he's a character spencer yeah. pretty much yeah, yeah okay um but the gameplay was fun <coughs> they had a multiplayer mode where everybody's like swinging around shooting at each other and shit it was fucking awesome nobody was playing it but when i got into a room <laughs> it was awesome i would like to see everything they did good in that game Everything bad, obviously, fucking get rid of it. But everything good, make a sequel um, with the same spirit, and I would, I would fucking love it. I, I, I actually enjoyed the first one, and I would really like a second one. Um, you guys haven't played it. Do you, does anyone have an opinion on that? If it's anything like the game prototype that came out a while ago, mm-hmm. I could see where it would be interesting and fun. I kind of like that style of game, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's not something I'm like super invested in. Yeah. I was getting that same vibe. It sounded yeah. a little bit like Prototype. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, fuck Bionic Commando. And, uh, <laughs> Chris, what, what, what's your second pick? Uh, my second pick is probably a game that very few people have actually heard of outside of Frank and I. Um, it's a game called Eve Dawn of Evolution. Not to be confused with Eve the MMO? Correct. Okay. So this game came out probably, what was it, Super Nintendo? 93. Yeah. Oh, fuck, okay. The whole Game's premise. Older than I am. Yeah, the whole premise of the game is you start off as a fish and you literally eat other animals to gain experience points to physically evolve your character. Spore? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not as open world, it's, it's, a, it's got okay. a storyline to okay. it, it's kind of it's very linear. Um, but I just remember playing it as a kid, and we spent, what, three days trying to remember what the name of the game was and finding an emulator just to play it again. Hmm. Um, you literally start off, it's literally a game of history of evolution. You start off as a fish, you go into a dinosaur, a lizard, dinosaur, eventually you turn into a mammal, turn into a human, and that's the end of the game, I Some believe. Some super progressive ideas for that early. Yeah, mm. yeah. But there was very, like, strong religious undertones to it, which is mm. weird for an evolution game. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> but 
even playing it now, like, yeah, it's not as fun as when I remember when I was a kid, mm -hmm. but it's still something that I enjoy going back and playing again. So I think taking a new aspect or taking a new look at that game would be an interesting idea. What would you like to see in a newer version of that? Because that's 93, so... Yeah, nowadays... I would like to have it be like more of like... Kind of like a Jack and Dexter game where it's still kind of like that weird Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, not quite side scrolly kind 3D of, platformer? Yeah, 3D okay. platformer with maintaining the elements of, you know, picking out certain evolutionary traits that you think would be better for your character to fight off other animals with. And I, I feel like nowadays that would fit more at home than back then, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's uh, a very obscure game. That, that's a game I have no idea about. I'll have to look up because I... I I don't even know what the fuck it even looks Dawn like. Dawn of Evolution? Eve. It's called Eve. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm, yeah. I'm as lost as you are. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds it sounds cool. I'm actually yeah. intrigued because that's that doesn't sound like a game that would come out in 93. Yeah. Uh, any any thoughts on that, Frank? Um, I mean, I enjoyed it to a point. It, 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 the game itself is eventually repetitive in mm -hmm. the sense of what you have to do. But like Chris was saying, I'd like to see it improved upon where... You get more choices, different different things will do different things, you know. Combinations. Then, yeah, exactly. Um, Wind up with a human that has three arms and one leg. Sure. Well, I mean, like, if you choose the traits of, like, what was it? If it's a rabbit, a lizard, and something else, you actually turn your animal into a human. It sounds weird, I know. But, like, there's certain, like... You can pick, like, Tyrannosaurus jaws with a Dimatron fin and a Stegosaurus tail to make your character more offensive. Or you can choose certain aspects to make your character have more defense. That literally sounds like Spore <clears throat> years before it came out. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Because that's literally what Spore was trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Huh. That's interesting. No, I'd like to see that, too, because, like, I have no frame of reference in a game that if... If it, it sounds like a game that would come out on Steam for like fifteen twenty dollars right? or something like that. Mm -hmm. and I totally would check that out. Yeah, sounds interesting. It's fun. Uh, what's your second pick, Bryn? Uh, <clears throat> another original Xbox game. It's called Whacked. Okay. Um, the the game's company that made it actually went under mm -hmm. right after they released the game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sounds very promising. <laughs> the, the, the game was was. Incredibly fun. It was just a battle arena. Mm -hmm. um, they had a, they had a live option. You're playing its computer most of the time. They had like easy, medium, hard, super hard, impossible setting, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> it was partially objective based, partially you know like battle arena deathmatch, mm -hmm. and it was so incredibly vulgar. I played it when I had it was to. Cartoony, right? I yeah. remember the case. Yeah, yeah the yeah. the case had like a naked lady with blue hair. A being that had like one stem that held its top portion of its head together with in the like teeth. Frank looks intrigued. Uh, you played as a penguin that had no flippers. That was an army veteran. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, time splitters, monkeys with guns. I'm D sure no, you're no, sold. No, 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 no. I can't compare the two. There's like 50 characters in time. Uh, another guy is a dude that's more or less like in a comatose state, and his chair controls his movements. So it was, it was it was an arena fighting game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Have you ever played uh, Power Stone? <coughs> what was it? Power Stone. Mm. Power Stone one <coughs> came out for uh, Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an arena fighting game where you essentially ran around, fought. It was pretty much a three D Smash Bros. Because mm -hmm. you could grab shit and throw at each other mm -hmm. something like that. So I'm assuming it's something similar to that. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, you can pick up different items and uh, different maps had interactions that you could do. Like there's a a map on there that you were. Riding on an El Camino that was getting chased by a cop, and you could jump on the hood of the, or, yeah, the hood of the cop car, grab matches off the hood of the cop car, and then light the torch in the back of the El Camino and just spray down the cop car with fire. Every cop I know has matches, so it's right on the makes... hood, just waiting for you. Yeah. No, no. Okay, so what I was gonna say is that that actually sounds. I, I like the idea of that dynamic uh, uh, level to fight mm. on. The matches, though, is interesting. <laughs> uh, there's just a, there's a blowtorch sitting in the back of this El Camino, just pointing right at the cop. Well, an El Camino with a blowtorch in the back of it sounds, I mean, come on, sounds this... normal to yeah. me, but, yeah. the, but the cop with the matches on the hood of the car as opposed to inside the car. That's interesting. <laughs> interesting. It's, it's an interesting choice. Um, no, I, I kind of want to go back and even try that, because I, I never played that. You, I remember seeing it, but I never played it. If you that. haven't played it, you're going to see the, the adult humor, and you're like, wow. Children played this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I well, had to have played that game when I was nine. 
What would you like to see in a newer version? Just updated graphics? Just or? everything that would, <clears throat> you know, that made an Xbox One game an Xbox or an Xbox game into an Xbox game mm -hmm. and incorporate that into the next gen yeah. with a bigger online interface. Because, I mean, Xbox Live was so new Definitely. on the original Xbox Definitely. and it's evolved into what it is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, that whole premise sounds cool. We don't have we don't have a whole lot of games like that nowadays, so mm -hmm. I would be completely open to the idea of a new, you know, zany fucking fighting game in a 3D perspective. I like the idea of this weird cop car, El Camino, or the fuck you said. There's a... <laughs> the whole game is played like a, like a game show. Okay. Uh, the guy that is hosting it mm -hmm. is, you know, you realize... Really early on, he's a fucking douchebag, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's cool because every time you're in a, a menu waiting for the game to populate, they play you like an in-game ad. Okay. And it's all like weird, like incredibly vulgar, talking about mashing pigs and putting them in a can to sell to children and make them fat. Kids love mashed pigs. Who doesn't? All the fat kids. That's my favorite meal. This is starting to explain a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that's a good pick. I think it's something that that definitely uh, has room, considering there's a lot of genres that just don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to see a revitalization of that. Uh, yeah, what, what do you think, uh, or what, what's your pick, Frank? Uh, Legends of Dragoon. That was a great oh, game, oh. and I would love to see a sequel to it where the like, graphics are updated. It wasn't a fucking sequel. So I, was I. I was too. Because it was well received. It Everyone was, knew people liked it. Yeah. It was, yeah, crazy raved about. And yeah. it, it had great play, it had great story, it just did not have a sequel. That was one of the one of the few games that really divided its play its story up amongst multiple discs, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, back then, most Square games had multiple discs, mm -hmm. but it was one of those that had like three or four discs mm -hmm. to it. Wait, so was that you... a Square game? Did I actually yeah. play a Square game? Yeah. Oh, I did it. That's <laughs> that's a Square game. It's a step um, in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 90s? Was it an RPG? It's a Square game. Most, most likely. Makes sense. Most likely. Um, no, yeah, it was, it was a definitely a well-received game I played. It. I never beat it, but uh, I enjoyed it. I knew a lot mm -hmm. of people who loved that game. I'm really surprised they never made a second one. Yeah. Um, what would you like to see in a newer version? Better graphics, new story. Yeah. Simple Makes enough. Sense. Simple enough. I would demand you maintain this battle system from the previous game if you remake it. None demand... of this like Final Fantasy thirteen active battle bullshit. And I would demand you don't make it fucking episodic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Legend of Dragon 2 episodic. I want a five disc box for this game. Five Blu-rays. Yeah. I Ten want this game to be huge. Game. That's a lot of games. That's Ten if you're not slacking. Uh -huh. Ten discs. <clears throat> no, that's a good pick. What, any, any thoughts on that, you guys? I, I would, would be 100%. I'd, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I'm the only one who... who you know, I liked it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But I, I would, you know, if Chevy bought it, I would definitely check it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, um, it was one of the few JRPGs that I played as a kid. Yeah. I miss JRPGs. That alone yeah, says Chevy dead. will buy it. Genre, huh? JRPG? Mm -hmm. Chevy's buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't buy those. He, he does. <laughs> um, yeah. Any any other uh, honorable mentions or anything? Yes. Oh, yep. go Yes. Ahead. I was thinking about it while we were talking about this. Um, one game that probably was not well received, but a lot of people probably played was Bioshock. Oh. Bioshock it's a game. fighting game. Oh, okay. It was a whoa, 3D whoa. game. I was about to you say. No, BioFreaks. <laughs> I'm sorry, BioFreaks. Okay, okay. That's what I was thinking okay. of. You, know. you blew my fucking mind. It was not well received. People love BioShock. <laughs> Take two. BioFreaks. BioFreaks. Bio I remember BioFreaks. It's a fighting yeah. game. You had like maybe like 10 characters total, but they had active battle damage as you fought. So like if someone hit you in the arm with their chainsaw, you lost that arm for the rest of the fight. If you lost, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The rest of the fight. If they hit you in the leg with some sharp object, you had no legs. You had to use your jetpacks to get around the map. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's totally room for that nowadays. Right? Like, you could totally expand upon that. Um, makes me it makes me remember fucking a game for Sega Genesis, and I don't want a sequel to it because it sucked, but uh, Eternal Champions. Oh. It was awful. It was so fucking bad. But there's so many fighting games back then. There's like this variety of all these different mm -hmm. fighting games with a bunch of different ideas and shit. So I, I wish we were Shaq back. Shaq Fu. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely.
definitely need a fucking sequel to that. Please stay out of the gaming bu- business, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that sh- soda Shaq shit going on right now, so he's yeah. not too worried about the video games making fucking soda. Um, anything else? Uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I agree. That actually was on my list. I would love to see another Conker's Bad Fur Day that was made with the heart and soul that the original one made was made with. Yeah. Because now... Uh, they had they had Conker uh, doesn't make games uh, anymore. Live they and Reloaded or some shit like that for yeah. the for the Xbox 360, yeah. mm-hmm. and it just fell flat on its face. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it was embarrassing. Um, and and you'd be hard pressed to find a game that's that like shameless and mm-hmm. apologetic about its content. Yeah. Wax would be one of those. There's so right, much right, right ridiculous that humor in fucking Conker's Bad Fur Day. Big giant singing shit. Yeah. <laughs> Him pissing all over the place while he's drunk, fucking a lot of sexual humor that you know you probably have to tone down a little bit nowadays because of the no. social climate. <clears throat> Take no. it up a notch. Maybe t- yeah, just make it crazy. We're so desensitized now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but yeah, no, I I would love to see a, a, a well thought out fucking Congress about the or Pat Furday fucking too. Um, <coughs> any thoughts? No, I I'd love to see it. The multiplayer was fucking awesome in that game. It had that uh, caveman mode. Mm-hmm. It was a T Rex, and then you had to like go steal its eggs, and then the fucking away, and fucking just talking weird shit, <laughs> and like you have to grab them and like, waddle off and shit. I loved that. There's so many cool <laughs> multiplayer modes. It was and, definitely a risk for them to take. I'll oh say, yeah, for sure. But it's it's. I think it they paid nailed off. it. Considering yeah. that Conquer was supposed to be in a, in a kids game yeah. originally, and then they just took it and made it in this weird fucking M rated. Nintendo game, yeah. like that, that would not happen nowadays, and I wish it's it like would. It's like unheard of. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, I'd like to see a sequel to Diddy Kong Racing, just because I thought. Oh, dude, was... Diddy Kong Racing was so fucking cool. I thought it was a good, a good. I loved yeah. it. It was fucking Mario Kart with planes. It, exactly, it was Mario Kart. Have that now. And they gave you, they gave you different things to do though. You didn't just, you know, race. You had to collect the balloons. You had to do s- different types of, you know, battle. You had to go and collect the eggs out of the center and drop them off and defend it while, you know. <clears throat> it was people. Mario Kart, but, but yeah. getting creative with it. Yeah. With that format. You didn't like it at all? I was over it so fast. <laughs> I liked it. Damn, I love that was that a good game. One. He, this, this face says I don't like it, but the true story is, is he spent hours playing that game. Just like Frank hours. spent days playing real fishing too. Would you want a sequel to that? <laughs> um, no. Three? There There's is four. a three. Five? Um, it's probably five. It's been done. Ten? <laughs> God, yes. Okay, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. And with that, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Loot Chest on Taste Loot Gaming. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to check us out on Tumblr and Twitter, Taste Loot Gaming. Check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this episode. And uh, yeah, my name's Seth. I'm Chris. I'm Frank. And I'm Brandon. And until next week, we'll see you on Tuesday, guys. Take it easy. Keep watching your virtual reality porn. <laughs> <laughs>